Recently, God gave me a new perspective when it comes to joy, and I want to share that perspective with you. It refers to Hebrew chapter 12, verse 2. It states, Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith, for the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And when I think about that verse, I really think about what it means. And the example Jesus truly set for us. When Jesus knew he had to go through, when it was time for him to go through the pain and suffering uh, for our sake, so that we can, we, all humans, can have the opportunity to be in heaven and have peace and joy. Uh, when he uh, knew that time was coming, it was for him to happen. He prayed and asked God the Father to remove this cup from him. He, if, if, but he, he decided, he said, you know what, God, let your will be done. He said, let your will be done. He, so he let us know the human part of him felt just like many of us feel when we are going through trials and tests and hardship in life. We don't want to go through that pain and suffering. We'd rather not. But if, but he, but notice he said, but God, yeah, even though I don't want to endure, I don't want to do that, uh, 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 how, want that pain and suffering to happen to me. He like, yet, if this will need to take place, so be it. I will make the sacrifice. And Jesus made that sacrifice for us. He took that pain, that suffering, that shame for our sake. He got his mind off of the problem, off of the pain and suffering, and he put his mind on the reward he's going to receive. The reward he received is us, his us, his children, the Christians. That's the reward he focused on. And the, knowing that he was going to receive that reward, it brought him joy. So let me read Hebrews chapter two, uh, Hebrews chapter twelve, verse two again. It says, Fix our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, so it's like the joy set before Jesus is what helped him endure the cross, scorning his shame. And then he uh, he went through that pain and suffering, and then it was over. He had to, he did receive peace and joy because he said, his, and then sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And it's the same thing for us. It's surely we who are Christians, you, we have to look at the example that God our Father set for us. Jesus, the Son of God, came as the Son of God in human form. He knew what it felt like. As a human, what we have to deal with in this life, in this world. And through his example, he showed us, you have to get to a point where you take your mind off of your problems, off of the pain, off of the suffering, and you allow your focus to be on your prize, which is spending forever in heaven with God our creator. And we're going to have peace and joy and happiness. No more sorrow, no more tears. And you have to let your joy come from that, knowing that. Knowing that we can man do it for the night, but joy will come in the morning. Whatever pain and suffering you're doing on this earth right now, whether you're going through pain and suffering through, uh, with your with a relationship, with it's a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, or your children, or your parents, or whoever, a sibling, uh, neighbors, whoever, co-workers, whoever. Whatever pain and suffering you're going through, pray, ask God to help you have peace. Surrender the situation to God, trust him with it. And keep your eyes on the prize, which is, is receiving eternal life with our creator, Jesus Christ. Look at the example Jesus set for us and follow it. Keep your joy. Keep your joy. You can keep your joy if you keep your eyes on the prize, which is spinning 
forever in heaven with Jesus. God bless you.